Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to your friendly neighbor noob. Of course, I'm friendly and we're back with another series. We're here with Pokemon Insurgents, a fan-made game. Last time I played back Black and White, I did say I was going to play a fan-made game because I just wanted to feel that kind of energy and happiness that comes from a game made by people who love Pokemon. Not just like, love. They spent their time and energy in this. And sometimes companies can lose that love. Whereas fans, they either, you wouldn't make a game if you did. You wouldn't make a game if you didn't love Pokemon. Like, why would you spend that much time to make a game? And I'm super excited because this is one of the top, like, top rated. I see this in, like, top fives all the time. So I'm really excited to get into it. I hope you are too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. And let's get right into this. Let's go. Greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, everything is ready for go. Alright, okay, so well welcome. Welcome back, welcome back. Blah blah blah. Wow. Wow. I wanna go up. I wanna fly. I wanna hail. Tall shadowly hills. Okay, so it's a kid. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Sparky in. He might have a bird. <laughs> he might have a burb. Probably not, but you know. Kid, do you wanna do you wanna battle? Oh no, you want to give me a lava cookie. How adorable. Um, but I don't really want your lava cookies. Oh my god, this is a giant building. Ooh. So no one wants to battle up here? I thought for sure everyone would want to battle. Oh, it's a broadcast tower. If you're looking for something to do, I'm sure he'd appreciate your help. Oh, so these are just normal people, everyday people who are just doing stuff. Whoa. Okay, so this is fire and electricity is the, the big bad. I guess Cubone's gonna have a field day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's still a bit too strong. Uh, my Cubone is level 20 though, so that's something. That's something. I have to do a grind session, it's gonna take me a while, but uh, let's have a look around first. Ooh, flowers. Oh, it's just, just a flower, Aaron. It's just some flowers. Let's just sit here in the flowers, we're good. <laughs> we're all good. We don't, have to, we don't have to do stuff today, we don't have to do stuff. Well, he did say I should go to the broadcast tower. That kid did say it. Hello! Welcome to Sun Touch City Broadcast Tower! A tower has informed the broadcast news and information to all over the world! You have a terrible voice and I hate you. Hmm, so where would he be? Oh wow! Dun, 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 dun. Hey, you're not a back here, huh? Ha! Oh, this is where the boss of Broadcast Tower works. You should deserve him. He's busy. Unless you're a trainer. Boss is looking for a trainer, you see. You're trying to start a new show about hunted Pokemon. But we need to, one to make, <laughs> make it happen. If you are, we can make you a star. Pathwood, keep any Pokemon you catch. If you're going on an adventure, you won't interfere with that. It'll be like a side job. You can help me out with some time to time. What do you say? Yes. Excellent, I'll take you to see my bass. Well, hi there. He said he's willing to help you out with your new channel. Do it here now. Wow, well, what's your name? Friendly, very well then. I'm going to make you a star. We start filming the pilot episode right away. Let's begin. Um. So here's the deal, Friendly. You want to be a movie star, a hero? We heard reports of a rare Pokemon in the area, Axial or something. To be honest, we couldn't care less. The problem is, we've been through the grass tons of times and we couldn't find any. We've got helicopters ever in the area. All you need to do is there's your skills with the trainer to find Axe and battle it. I'll make it faint, capture it, or whatever. Just battle it, we need footage. And a tip, I recommend you don't move around too much. Maybe just wait in a certain spot and look for the wrestling. Okay, let's have a look. Bam! No? Oh, I should toggle off auto run, shouldn't I? There we go. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? It's you! It's you! Oh, it's so cute and I want it! I want it now! I want it now! Oh god, it's not very effective. Is that a rock type or something? Ground type? Slash! Oh, okay. He's a cranky boy. Uh, let's do Thunder Wave because I think he's going to kill Sparky. Let's just try our best, I suppose. Oh, it can't paralyze and can't move. Well, let's find out. Shockwave, does it do anything? Nope, it's definitely a ground type. Okay. 
Oh, it does fighting moves. Wow. Okay. Oops. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um, can't kill it, so let's do Blaze. Blaze, I'm pretty sure most abilities won't be effective. So let's just do some scratches, you know? It's little, little scratches. Little baby scratches. Yep, Slash doesn't affect Blaze. <laughs> little baby scratches. Just keep doing scratches until he can't do any more. Oh shit, I forgot. That's super effective, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot. He's dark as well. He's ghost. Shit. Sheesh! Me trying not to kill him is killing everyone else. <laughs> Look, I just have to catch him, that's it. Uh, faint? Okay, okay. Shouldn't do- Oh my god, this does heaps. Ow, that hurt. Um, okay, we need to- we need to start throwing Pokeballs at this thing. Throw some Pokeballs! Throw the goddamn balls! <laughs> do it! <laughs> Hurry up! There we go. I want it, it's because level 20, I want it. And I want to see what evolves into. Yay! Axu! I'm gonna call him Dwagon. And I'm gonna call him Dwagon. Da da da. Oh! Level, Splash leveled up! Awesome! The Tusk Pokemon. Would you like to give him a name? Yes, I'm gonna give him the name Dwagon! <laughs> He's a Dwagon. <laughs> Yo, friendly, we got that tape. Come back over here! Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta toggle off. <laughs> I gotta toggle back on order run. Hey! Nicely done, friendly. We never would have found that without you. Uh, cool. Now what? We caught the battle footage on uh, friendly. You're a fantastic. Great job. We're going to head back to the base now. Here's your reward. Straight for the boss himself. Two thousand dollars. All right, let's head back. Keep your eye on the TV to see our pilot ends or ever ends up airing, and we'll give you a call on the Poke Gear if we need any more help. Okay? Okay. That was fun. I like that. Oh, my Pokemon still fainted. Yeah, he didn't, didn't even didn't even bring my Pokemon back. Thanks, thanks for that. Um, that was very nice of you. I just um, yeah, great. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm gonna swap it to Cubone this time, just before we do some healing. Uh, swap it to Cubone because we're gonna be doing the gym. Honestly, I don't know how well we're gonna do in the gym because the gym is a scary, scary place. It's terrifying. There are bugs and creatures. And humans, it is not my fault I am so scared of a gym. <laughs> do you know what's inside of gyms? Buff people. Terrifying buff people. They just want to do exercise all the time. <sighs> okay, let's give it a go. Oh, sun touch gym. Why does it look like it's on the edge? That looks so weird. All right, let's uh, give it a go, I guess. You'll never reach the gym leader. Not as long as the youngster Jacob is in the way. Yeah. Oh, there's a boy side and a girl side. That's so weird. What do you have? A Vulpix. Aww. It's a Vulpix. Oh god, confused, right? Of course. Here we go again. Yay, I'm good to ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, it only took eight this time. Yay. Oh, snapped out of the confusion, but the attack missed, because you suck! <laughs> Oh, fucking kidding me. I hate this so much. Oh, great. This is this is fun. I love playing this game and not getting to actually do anything. This is so fun. So, so fun. He's gonna hurt himself in this confusion again. Yep, so fun. So fucking fun. It's just, I didn't get to do anything for two turns and it just knocked out my entire Pokemon. It's fucking stupid. If I did the exact same movements, I would not get the same niceness. It would not be as nice. It, my, my confusion would work one out of ten times. Yeah, here we go again. Hurt by the confusion straight away. That's usually how it works. Yep. <laughs> See what I mean? Three times and three times it's hurt. Three chances, three chances it's hurt. Yep. I bet, I bet you'd use confusion again next turn, wouldn't you, you little prick? <laughs> hey, you hate so. That's an numal. So far it just seems like this is a fire type gym. Like, I've only seen fire types so far. So... That's weird. They're all the same level of what I am right now, so that's not fun. It does seem I'm going to be going through a situation of getting there, my Pokemon getting really hurt, running to the Pokemon Center, and then running back. This is gonna be a long process. But hey, it's, isn't it the best? We get to be on TV and now we get to do a gym, kind of. I think working on Croconaw might be the the point of this, because Cubone, you disappointed me. <laughs> so, such a disappointed parent sound. But we are going to once again run into the issue of Pokemon being too lower leveled for something. I this game, oof, balance please. Fan-made games, please balance better. Or give, you, or give them more options for playing places to grind. There's only a cave with like level 15s. That's really gonna help me. 
As a level 20 who wants to get to 23, that's really gonna help me. Littler. Aw, it's a little tiger. That's adorable. Oh, he's working himself up. He's getting ready. He's getting ready. He's gonna attack soon. Just let him have a little bit of time. Oh, he's gonna work it up even further. <laughs> I'm so patronizing. He will do it soon, he promises. <laughs> Yay, go Splash, getting that level 20. Ooh, Ice Fang. Finally a cool move. No offense to your water gun, but it is just a water gun. <laughs> it's just a splooshy gun. And we have Ice Fang. Yeah, Litwick. Litwick's the ghost fire Pokemon, isn't it? Yeah. I could use Fight on it, though. That would be interesting. <laughs> that would be interesting. That wouldn't be interesting. <laughs> that would be sad. Nightshade. Actually, it does 20 damage, fucking hurts. It's a bitch. Aww. Bye, Litwick. Sorry you couldn't play any reindeer games with us. <laughs> Rudolph and his reindeer games. Is there only gonna be four of them? I'm just thinking because like the last one wasn't the dragon. Oh, that was black and white. That was black and white. I'm getting mixed up already. I'm getting them mixed up already. Just can't keep my feeling deep inside of me. Then I'm gonna murder your candle too. Maybe if your candle actually listened, he would know that my high words are true. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> I'm gonna murder you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, I'm not. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Sorry, Monferno. Wrong typing. But close, but close. Deep inside my heart. <laughs> I just love seeing that sword in a way. It's so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. So dumb. I keep forgetting that uh, the Croconaw was not like, Totodile was not my main. It's, I don't know why, I keep forgetting. It's kind of embarrassing. But yeah, I, th I keep getting the Blaze is actually my main and not the Crocodile. Oh well, next. Hey, just because we're young, doesn't mean you shouldn't have ace with us. <laughs> um, sure. Oh, it's adorable. Kill it. <laughs> it's adorable. Murder it. Burn it with fire. Kill it faster. Not killing it fast enough. Oh, level 22. Simsia. You know what? Let's change it back to Cubone. Let him have a little bit of a go. Throw those bones at them. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, that thing is hideous. Kill it now, please. <laughs> Kill it. Kill it with fire. Oh God. No, wait, it has fire, but still. Yes, suck it. You tried. You tried, bro. You tried to take out Cubone and Cubone said, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> He's just so chill. He's just so chill. Uh, poor Cubone. I make fun of him, but he's a perfect little boy. <laughs> so think about that for a second. Is that too weird? Here's my son. He also wears the he the head of his mother. The skull of his mother. Yeah, I married a Cubone. It's weird, but you know, some things really are weird. That's life. Why can't we- what the hell? Oh, The littlest of the kids! The Sun Touch City Gym is the strongest! You'll never beat us! Ah, oh, it's so cute. Look at him, he's schoolboy Riley. Oh, that's so adorable, I could just die. He is the cutest. The fact he's a- I got, I've got really strong Pokemon who are gonna murder you. Oh, are they? Are they really? Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> It'd be like when I'm at work, when I work at childcare, and the little kids are like, I'm gonna stop you because I'm Superman. And you're like, aww. <laughs> aww. Are you though? <laughs> oh, just stand there as you're like, eh, 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 beat up this bad person. <laughs> oh, sorry, Andrew. That's adorable. That is adorable. Oh, Bonerang actually did quite a decent amount of damage. Okay. I mean, like, he gets a level uh, 40, uh, 22 as well. So we have two level 22s now that are going to be great for this fire gym. The fire gym! Is that the last one? Oh, no. Okay, so we should go heal first, and then we'll be ready. Also, what are these? Like, random ass blocks? She's the ra so you should try using rock or ground to win. Oh, some fresh water. Thank you. But so, yeah, she is fire type, but based around the sun. Okay. 
So things that are more likely helped by the sun. I would have done a soul rock personally, because that's a fire. Well, actually, yeah, that uses fire type. Is it soul rock it uses a fire type? I think it is. That's what my main would be. And then of course I'd use, you know, the, the evolution of Lilio and uh, what's another one? Because it's like a, a light dog, sun dog, sun touch dog. Um, hmm. I guess Lit Litwick would be smart, but I don't really see it as a sun kind of thing. Maybe cast form? I'd get probably cast form, because weather. And then have it have sunny day. So that would be my first one. Cast form would be the first one. The last one would be the uh, soul rock. All right, let's do this. Let's defeat her. A challenger, huh? Oh, is it a guy? My name is Orion, I'm the leader of the Suntouch City Gym. Pretty good with fire type. Now my Pokemon work together under the light of the sun. Let's make him the them. It's a non-binary character now. Now is the hint, by the way. Do you want a battle? Are you ready when you are? All right, let's get started. Wish me luck. With you by my side, I'm sure I'll win. Did you just talk to a rock? Oh, what? Oh, the rock. Everyone wants to know about the rock. It gets lonely being a gym leader, so I make friends where I can. Everyone in the city makes me uh, makes me for it, mocks me for it. But it's a lie. I just know it. But whatever. What's not important right now? You want a battle, right? Let's get started. Oh, cute. We're going down to the little platform area. Pretty sure it's a dude. <laughs> you won't stand a chance. Aww. Pretty sure it's a little kid. Oh, he is. Aww, Aria. You just became ten times sadder. Oh, drought. But like, that's actually really sad. Ow. How is that super effective? It's just a hidden power. What the fuck? How come it did that little amount of damage? It's only one level higher. What in the ever-loving world? I, I don't understand what's going on and I, I told you this would happen. I told you the nightmare that this, this would happen. Did you guys believe me? No. <laughs> you probably thought, ah, it's not gonna be that bad. You'll be fine. You'll be, oh my god. <laughs> You'll be fine. The, the Pokemon will die and you, you can do whatever you want. And I'll be like, yeah, sure, whatever. It's gonna murder me, but fine. Yeah, sounds great, dudes. <laughs> Got one more water gun in me. Sunlight fades. Oh, that's sad. Oh, stop healing your Pokemon. Seriously. It has to die. <laughs> At least it didn't kill me. <laughs> it would have been embarrassing the first one killing me, that's all I could have say. The first one taking out my entire team and I would be screaming the fact of how un imbalanced everything is. Dealing? What in the actual hell is going on? Isn't dealing like a normal type? It's a deer. It's definitely a deer. Oh dear. It's a facade. It only does one damage. Oh my god. Okay. Ivysaur. Oh. It has a this type. It has a this type. I will not explain how stupid that sounded. It has a this type. Not very effective. I don't know how that's not very effective to be honest, but like, cause I don't know what the typing is. Um, Black Saurus, yeah, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with Sparky because Sparky has a uh, fire charge thing. Flame charge. Yeah, it's only gonna do a tiny bit, but let's, oh, my speed row is wonderful. A sludge. Oh, Jesus Christ. They hit hard and they, like, just annihilating my health. It is level 24, so I probably should have respected that. <laughs> I probably should respect that. But I thought they were a fire. T oh, sun, solar beam. Yeah, okay. That was kind of expected then. Uh, let's go blaze, because we don't really have many options left, and I don't think that any of the others would go well. Uh, Twister, let's go Twister. Solar beam. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, shit, wait, Confuse Ray? Confuse Ray? Will he be confused? That would be amazing. Please. Yes! A solar beam! Hit him in the face! <laughs> that feels so good. A solar beam hitting him in the face. Okay, that was actually really cool. He's really into healing himself. He's really into healing himself. But honestly, the... Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm not going to get a chance to do it again, unfortunately. Oh my god. It's going to heal as much damage as I do, unfortunately. So I don't know what else to do. No! Okay, ow. Oh, it's not very effective. Did not know that. See, it heals me and it puts him back in the yellow. I, d I can't do enough damage to murder him. This sucks. Uh, yeah, it's, it doesn't matter if you do any damage or not. It still heals. I don't think you get it. Like, it's really just doing nothing. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. I just need something to kill it. Something has to kill it. Something, anything. 
Uh, dwagon. Go, dwagon. <laughs> Plus, it's going to keep healing if um, I don't do something and kill it. Jewel chop, maybe? Whip slash. No. Let's do jewel chop. Let's hope to God. Oh! Well. <laughs> Just, well. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> The wagon. Poor the wagon. He's just sitting there like, what the fuck? What the fuck did I just do? Who did I murder? Flame burst. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Even though it shouldn't be that effective. It is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I put up a good fight. I would like to point out that I put up a good fight. I did. I think that I I, I tried my heart darndest. But by the way, this is level 25. So that was pretty well, you know, well done, dude. Well done. Well done, dude. Well done. You did your best, you know? You did your best. Doing a gym and it's like, nah, I just I just can't with this, you know? My brain just doesn't get it anymore. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Like, okay. And that was cool. Ow. After this, he's gonna have, he should heal. Personally, I think. Personally, I think you should heal something. Um, what should you heal? Let's heal. Hope I don't have to regret that. Oh, wait, what? Oh, because there's already some. There's already some, so it doesn't have to take in anything. Uh, that's cool though. That's cool. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Uh, just hope it doesn't take in a fucking solar beam. Pretty sure you have to, you're tired, aren't you? What? No, but you're tired. You, after a solar beam, you have no energy after a fucking solar beam. Oh, that is, that is, that is dirty. That is fucking dirty. Okay. Well, if I don't do this, I, I lose. So, yep. That was great. They were going to use solar beam anyway. Because for some reason, solar beam doesn't need to... <laughs> Just, what the fuck? Solar beam when sunny day exists means you don't have to do that. By the way, you shouldn't be able to cast sunny days straight away. I'm just, I'm annoyed. I'm pissed. What the fuck was that? Uh, usually after you use uh, solar beam, you get exhausted. Um, so I don't know why the exhausting doesn't work in this mod. Like, uh, the, sorry, this fan game. We just forget that it exists. Pissed. I'm so pissed that I was this close. The dealing shouldn't have been the issue. That Ivy saw and the time Alien should have been the thing that annihilated me. Not some dipshit at the start. Anyway, just briefly guys, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the support, all the love. And I know you probably are like, oh, he gave up. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to play a game I don't find fun. Don't find this fun. I, I've, I've been feeling that way about black and white. I felt way about this one. I didn't feel that way about Le Leaf Green, Fire Red, MMO, Poke MMO, uh, Infinite Fusion. I enjoyed all those. I had moments where I was like, oh, this is so frustrating. But I never felt like this game is not great. My issue with this is the story is great, by the way. The gr story is great. The characters are interesting. The ideas and the concepts are there. The, the uh, way that it's designed is very Pokemon with just that little touch of something, something updated. The issue I'm having, number one, we'll go with the visuals. When I was inside of the, the, the tunnel to get to here, the cave, it was blue. So I thought it'd be ice. I thought it would be maybe metal. It was a ice type. It was wind, winds, Wisma. It was uh, magne Magnemite. I was like, okay, so the sound? It's a sound cave? The combination of Pokemon didn't make sense. And if you're going to do a Pokemon area, you kind of have to have a relation to each Pokemon and why it would be there, just like in a food chain. Why are the Pokemon there? Why do the animals live there? Why do penguins live in, in the North Pole? Or the, it would live in snow rather than a tropical island. It, it, because that's what this, their body's used to. That's, you know, it's just, it, it makes sense that Pokemon do try to do that in real life. Like a Numel is going to be around a volcano. A Plusle is going to be around city areas. That's that's what we've always known. Trubbish is going to be around city areas as well. Um, Wingull is going to be by the beach. Uh, so we're probably a bunch of fight type Pokemon like uh, Panda Chan. Th these are the things that have always made sense to us. This is how Pokemon helps us and guides us. Unfortunately, this game doesn't do that. It just shoves random Pokemon in areas. And because of that, I also found a lot of the Pokemon weren't very useful. They weren't like Pokemon where you could teach it. Like Blitzel, 
eventually learns a fire type move, which is helpful, but I still have an electric type with two electric types, three electric type moves if I'm lucky. Well, not lucky, I should say, annoyed. Uh, and one fire. Croconaw, which is great, but you, yeah, it was just, it was like so many different Pokemon that just wouldn't help me in any of these scenarios that I was in. I also felt like my rivals always had an L, always had a clapback, always had something to defeat me. It was never the feeling of I was growing as a character. It always felt like I was being shut down because there were play the, my, the, my my rivals would be like, hey, I've got this Pokemon here, and since you're this is super effective to that one, and this is super effective to your other Pokemon, this is super effective to your other Pokemon. It's like they have four different type moves as well. They all seem to have very random moves. In the original games, it's very much like this is a fire type. It's mostly gonna have fire type moves. Fire type with solar beam Ivasaur in a in a gym. And plus there was no lore. I don't know why this person likes solar beams. I don't know why this person is obsessed with the light. It has a pet rock as a friend. How does that have any relation to do the sun? It should have been a ground type if that's the case. If it's pet friends of pet rock, ground, rock type. Any, any of that, it's the characters, the, the characters compared to their Pokemon, the characters were interesting, but their Pokemon made no sense. So I didn't know how to prepare for that. I also didn't know where to go. It had no directional stuff. It's not like, oh, you can't go this way. Oh no, don't stop that. Like the kids, when I was trying to get, uh, to find out where the person was for the, uh, for the school tournament, I didn't know where they were. I had no effing clue. The hints weren't strong enough. I didn't know where to find this gym. I literally walked up to that vent and was like, what's this? That's, that was it. I had to find it myself purely out of curiosity. And it was more frustration after a while because I'm like, come on, give me some direction. Give me some pathway. You can't just give me character development in certain sections and then the rest of it's just me wandering around aimlessly. This isn't an open world game. This isn't. Um, I do love the design of the fake mons. The fake mons, beautiful, chef's kiss, great design, did amazing on that. The frickin' Charmeleon, Charizard, oh my god, amazing. Amazing. But Squirtle was cute as well. It was like, the, the uh, Venusaur was, I like the color scheme, that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it was, it was great. Those, the fake mons were really well done. Um, I think the interaction with me, my, as a character, I felt very like I was watching a movie rather than I was immersed in the moment, so that didn't feel great. Uh, I didn't feel like I was a character in the storyline, which kind of, you know, made me feel shut out. And I, I, I don't know if that was the purpose of it, I don't know if that was how it was supposed to be, but this didn't feel great. I did love how my pet would follow me. Um, I did like that there were potions and stuff that you could find and they would look like the potions and look like the CD. That was great. Love the relation with Mew. Still understand why Mew isn't on my side, but is on my side. The leveling was awful. The leveling was awful. I was grinding every single place I went for hours just to get to the right point. There is nothing wrong with it being hard. There is something wrong with you having to grind for four to five hours to be the right level to be able to play it. I grind, I, I ground for like, for, I grinded, grinded for three hours before this session and I still am nowhere near 25. I have twenties. I could keep dying and hopefully eventually they will get up to that level and then defeat them. That's gonna take me like seven or eight tries, maybe 10. Also, the ratio of confusions and snapping out of confusions and being hurt by confusions was so unfair to the player. I was hurt by confusion every single time I got hit by I got confusion. To the point where I was just like, if I get confused, I know I'm gonna lose the battle. So all in all, a mess. It was a mess. Great looking game. Fun at the start. The story was amazing. The battles were terrible. It, it, it was hard because I just came out of black and white and black and white was really bad. <laughs> black and white was really bad in the battles, battle category that had a great story, like a really good story, terrible battles. And now I've got the same thing, great story, terrible battles. So yeah, I hope the next, uh, I know the next fan game will be different. I hope the next fan game will be better. Um, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being part of your friendly neighborhood noob. I do encourage you to go play this yourself. So it's not just my opinion. And uh, yeah, I'm sure that someone's going to tell me that I'm wrong and a hundred percent tell me why. And I'm sure I'm going to read it down in the comments. I know it's coming. I know that. But honestly, that's your opinion. It's how you play. If you don't like it, that's fine. I don't have to like it. I don't need to like it. 
I enjoyed my time up until recently. So I'm gonna focus on the cute little Mew storyline that I started with and just kind of like remember it like that. <laughs> until next time guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being part of your friendly neighbor new community. I will see you very soon in the next game. I'm gonna try to find a good better one. Gotta look. I've heard Phoenix Rising is good, so maybe we'll try that one. But until then, goodbye. And don't forget to eat the spaghetti. Bye!